Hi everybody, I am going to teach you how to install Dynamic Net or configure Dynamic Net, put it like that, with Overload. What Overload does is it converts all these hosts into one IP address. So instead of using one IP address for each one of these hosts, you'd only use one. I already installed everything on here, so everything's working. You can ping from here to here, so let me do it. Show you that it's working. Without net. Okay, so I just have a regular IP root in here, just for an example. Now we're going to install net on this router. I'm going to write the commands in the description, so if you want to check that out, it's cool too. So, we have to create an access list first for these three hosts. So in order to do that, we need to create an access list. Access list, let's say 1, permit the... 192.168.0.0 network with the wildcard bits of 0, 0, 0, 0, 255. Sure. Okay, and now we have to create a NAT pool so it'll convert those these addresses into whatever you want, like global addresses. So that's IP NAT pool. We have to give it a name, so let's say uh, ISP for Internet Service Provider. And let's see, let's say 50, 0, 0, 0, 1, yeah, and 250, 50, 0, 0, 1 also with a net mask of 255, 0, 0, 0. So now that we created a net pool, we need to tell these guys that you need to use this access list. These guys in the access list will use this pool. Okay, so now we're going to type IP net inside source list to tell that the inside is going to be using these addresses to go out. So inside source list 1, since we named the access list 1, and pool, whatever the pool name was, it was ISP, and now we're going to type in overload overload since we only have one IP address these guys are going to use one IP address alright so now that we did that we need to name which is going to be the inside and the outside so we're going to go here again interface FA00 faster using it goes right here this one right here and this is going to be IP net inside source IP net inside I guess and now we have to do it to the serial interfaces, which is 2 0. 2 0. And we're going to type in IP net outside. And that's all you have to do for netting, dynamic net. So now if we go here and type in show IP net stat, it'll tell us that we have these addresses with a net mask of that. It's using the pool ISP. So now, since it's not dynamic Nick, since we haven't actually gone out yet, so let's ping from here to 40002 of the server. And we do have replies. So now let's check back here and type in show IP NAT trans. It translated these local inside local and it went out right here and it changed it into a 50001 so if I were to do this, so let's do debug IP net okay and now let's sorry let me move the screen here now let's ping from this guy to the 40002 and you can see that it's working, it's using the same IP address 50001 and that's good so let me show you this again show run so now we have we can see it's IP net inside serials already done sorry about that <laughs> access list right here and all this stuff so yeah thanks for watching and if you want more videos just uh Hit me up and uh, I'll try and make it. Thanks for watching.